Hi guys, Lizbeth here. I finished the declutter. I'm sorry I did some of it off camera while my battery was recharging. But this is the end result for now. Uh, as soon as I figure out like free cycle or something, there's four, excuse me, three six foot folding tables and uh, one at seven or eight feet or six and a half, I don't know. As soon as I can figure out how to do, how to get rid of them, they're going. This um, table and chair set I put out for the kids to use. I will tear down those boxes. I didn't bother to do it now because my recycle is full. This little bit right here with um, the box for the kids potty chair and shop back and TV stand stuff, that is staying. And of course the leaf for my table upstairs is staying until we get rid of that table. I am keeping the coffee table and the end table. We are going to eventually use those. Uh, not much over there. We're going to get rid of that piece as soon as we can get it figured out. I am going to keep the plastic bin. This, this cracks me up. I wanted to get rid of this table and that table. And I can because, except for these birthday presents that are going to be gone pretty soon. I've got like three of these red plastic totes with the green top, which easily stack on top of each other. Would come up to, I don't know, about here or so. And I can put the, put that beside them. So I did, I took those pieces of furniture out of the room, stacked them up, but it just, it looks so pitiful and sad sitting on the floor that I brought those pieces of furniture back in. Now my husband is like, um... Isn't this just like the basement storage room? Because I'm telling him I brought it back in because I didn't like the way it looked. And I'm like, yeah, honey, but it's got to look good for me. So I brought the furniture that we don't need back in to put those boxes because it just looks sad sitting all by themselves, not on a piece of furniture. Okay, yes, I'm weird. Maybe next time they'll go, but that's just what had to happen. Uh, of course, I'm keeping the stroller that I did go through all these shelves and stuff while the batteries were recharging and I cut it down significantly. I'll show you my bags of trash and stuff. I already took two trash bags up and threw them away already, but I really cut down and this piece of furniture is completely empty there's three I got three shelves over here and three drawers they're completely empty and I'm keeping that way on purpose I'm keeping the Hoover vacuum this is going to go we've got a patio table that we were that was down here that the kids used to use and we were just keeping these six chairs we never plan on using again so we're going to somehow figure out how to get rid of those no one in the family wants it, so I don't know, free cycle? How do you guys get rid of stuff? But seriously, I wish I had taken a before snap. But ignore everything on this wall. And that is all I am keeping. There's actually room to walk. Stuff's not stacked up too bad. And let me just give you a real quick look over here. That's the table and chair set. With that boxes I'm going to tear down. I did bring all the kids toys. Yes, they have too many, but I brought them all out here. I'm not going to use that storage room for kids toys. If they get outgrow them or, you know, no longer have any interest, I'm just going to give them away. This thing I got at a yard sale for 20 bucks and I thought it was super cool, but my granddaughter was never like that interested in putting the baby dolls in them because I used to just have <laughs> Goldie and Brownie. I used to just keep those two in and she never really used it like to put them to bed or anything So now it's a glorified You know doll stuffed animal holder, but this one and This one were from Build-A-Bear when our goddaughter had it. Oh, I can't remember how old she was But I don't know three or four back in 2005 my husband and I made those at Build-A-Bear and what is this 2018 we're just now setting them out to see if the kids are interested 
and I mean, I don't even know how long we've had that hard rock one, but I thought, why are we storing it? Either use it, or if, they, if the kids aren't interested, pass it on to other kids, because that was 2005. She's a senior in high school this year, and we... Uh, been storing the build -a bears we made. That that was just crazy. Like I said, the patio table's going out, but the reason I wanted to leave that storage room so empty is this matches our table upstairs. And our uh, when we moved here, our old house used to be like old world Italian stuff. And this new house, it's all modern and all our other furniture is like modern. Everything's black and white and gray. And you know, this ornate, because this matches, you know, our table, all this ornate stuff and, you know, medium colored wood doesn't go with it. And my husband said, I said, well, honey, if we get rid of this piece along with that table, you know, one, nobody's going to know we have it if we don't advertise it because it's down here in the basement. But if we get rid of this and, and all of these bottom things are full except for those two little drawers, it's all his memorabilia, all of his tchotchkes, all of his stuff he's interested in. And I'm like, if we get rid of this, we will not ever be showing any of this again. I mean, we don't plan on moving. And, you know, it'll just all be boxed up for the rest of its natural life. And he said that's fine with him course I think you guys know he's handicapped and visually impaired and he wants to get it boxed up he wants to keep it even though it won't ever be displayed again he wants to sell this with the table so I'm like okay and so you know I'm trying to clear up the storage room there's a lot of things like the steins and stuff that he wants to give to the grandkids and we'll box up for that but that was his choice I was not planning on selling this piece so his stuff could be displayed but he wants it to be that way so let me know do you have any idea where's a good place to sell huge uh, like dining tables and china cabinets do you know a good place to uh, put stuff on free free cycle I don't know for the things we want to give away like those other tables and let me show you the rest of the declutter like I said I already took up two bags of garbage I've actually taken up this is donate I've already taken up three bags before I thought to grab the camera three bags are already in the car so I'm taking those three in that the ladder lives in the garage I'm taking that back up this is more stuff to break down. Uh, it's going to go with the luggage upstairs. I have another couple rooms I need to declutter upstairs. So I'm taking like the extra boxes and bags and stuff. <laughs> and some diapers for the grand code. Uh, that needs to be relocated. Of course that's my tripod. This is another bag of trash. This stuff here is I no longer want to keep the extra cleaning supplies down here. I want to put cleaning supplies on each level that I'm going to use on each level. So all these cleaning things need to be relocated into different bathrooms and kitchen and that kind of stuff. So that is it. I'm excited. I think uh, if you've been watching from the very beginning, I don't actually know why I'm showing you the garage or the staircase. But if you've been watching from the very beginning, you'll see that storage room was a disaster. I think it's about three or something in the morning. I've got to get rid of this stuff. My husband's got the cats hidden or, you know, locked away in the bedroom with him. So I've got to get rid of this stuff before um, I go to bed and let the kitties out into the rest of the house. So thanks for hanging in there with me. Let me know what you think of the job I did. I will talk with you later. Bye.